Namaste dear learners. Today we are going to learn about the creation of VLAB account for experiments. VLAB refers to virtual lab. So first of all we need to open a browser. In that browser you can type www.vlab.co.in So this page will be open. So here you can see vlab.co.in and this is an initiative by Ministry of Education under the National Mission on Education through ICT. This is very much useful for us especially in these COVID times. So you need to in your browser you need to type this vlab.co.in then this web page will be open. And in this web page if you go down you are going to see so many uh, broad areas of virtual lab which includes electronics and communications, computer science, electrical, mechanical, chemical engineering, chemical sciences, physical sciences, civil engineering and biotechnology and biomedical engineering. So as for the example for today's one, we are going to see the physical sciences. So now you can click on any of this. For example, I am telling you physical sciences. Now still if you uh, observe clearly, you can see IIT Gohdi, IIT Delhi, Bombay. These are all the participating institutes in this initiative. So you can learn more through online, especially from this website. So click on this physical sciences. So you can see the broad areas of this physical sciences, which includes molecular interaction lab, advanced analytical chemistry virtual lab, solid state physics lab, optics, electrical and magnetism. So depends on experiment, the field will be there. And the side one refers to the, the institute participating the experiments related to this. Now, as a part of uh, that one, for example, I'm clicking on this optical optics virtual lab. Now, when we click on that, that will lead to optics related experiments. All this includes starts from resolving power of prism, right? The spectrometer, refractive index calculation, Cauchy's constraints, diffraction grating. So all optics experiments, all available optical experiments are going to be displayed here. Now randomly you can click on any of these experiments. So I'm selecting here dispersive power of a prism. Yeah. So this page will be open. Now here the experiment related theory, processor, self-evaluation, animation, simulator, assignment, reference, feedback, everything will be available, readily available here. But to access all this, you need to go for login. So on the top right corner, you can observe the login now. So click on that uh, login tab. So this web page will be open. So definitely if you are a first time user, Definitely you should create the account. If you are a registered user, you can go for user ID and mail ID. But we are the first time users, so we should click on create account. So you can give your details here or else you can use any of your Google or Yahoo mail ID. Uh, you can use anything. So suppose if I click on this create account, that leads to another page, this one. Here you can see, so see the form. So in this registration form, you need to enter the details, right? So you can give a mail ID, you can confirm your mail ID password, not your mail ID password. You can choose any other password and remember that and your first name, last name, age group, phone number, profession, college, university, so here university and college details uh, you can give in a required format is not an issue. This is for recording purpose only not for any other things. You can give your college name and university without any query or without any doubt. Now after successful login, after your account will be created and then you can log in through your mail ID and password. So you can use your username. Username refers to uh, email ID only and password and then click on login then that will lead to the same page optics experiments page then again uh, click on this experiment 
so experiment will be open so if you observe carefully there are so many tabs are there on this so first one is a theory animation self evolution processor so click on theory as i said before you will see the aim apparatus formula you can scroll down for a lot of learning can be done the formula how the formula come into the picture explanation will be there and procedure how to do this experiment so what are the controls of this virtual lab so how to switch on or off the light how to place the prism for this experiment and what are the various uh, uh, options we have everything will be displayed here in the procedure tab and before entering into the experiment you can go for self evolution the basic questions related to the experiment so you can uh, go happily you can choose the answers and uh, you can submit it you will get immediate result in fact so randomly i'm checking on a uh, few things and i'm submitting so you can do that a many number of times you can do this now go for animation so here in this animation the real experiment how the real experiment will be there it's going to be there here so what's a spectrometer and when you place your mouse on it so automatically that shows the part of it so you can continue it and you can study it so what you are going to study you are going to watch it with the animation so how the rays passes through this one and how we are able to get it and you can pass this at any point of time and you can play it so it's very much user friendly definitely you can go through it and you are going to learn a lot in fact next one simulator so here we are going to perform the experiment so as example as i said we are taking a spectrometer experiment see you can focus the telescope so you can then only you can go to the next step so you can switch on the light and you can adjust the slit focus which is required in this experiment you can adjust the slit width and place prism when you click on this place prism this prism is automatically placed and whenever you place your mouse pointer on any part of the spectrometer that will be displayed here so here there is a zooming thing will be there there you are going to see the zooming thing of it so like that you have a plenty of options are there in this virtual labs so after that you can go for assignments you can go for reference so what are the various references related to that and feedback so how the experiment is there and uh, what to do with the experiment and various question and answer query kind of thing is there it's uh, it's it's not compulsory but if you give a true feedback that will be useful for them to improve and enhance so this is what the uh, virtual lab account creation and the biggest problem we are going to come into the picture in this one is you must activate flash player in your laptop or desktop so whenever you go to your default cookie permissions so you can open the adobe flash and in this adobe flash by default in some browsers it's a block by default now select it and allow default just instead of block you should go for allow default then it won't stop otherwise the simulation may not work in your laptop so this way you can create account and from by using that account you can perform a lot of experiments in that various options so definitely if uh, if you really want to learn sky is, is also not a limit so you can learn a lot so happy learning all of you thanks for watching so if you like the video please click on like comment share it and don't forget to subscribe thank you